Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Med School Mondays with Promo. Of course, you got your uh, Professor Mohan right here. What are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to talk about neuroblastoma. Now, neuroblastoma is the most common adrenal tumor seen in children, children less than the age of uh, approximately four years old. Last week, what did we do? We talked about pheochromocytoma, which was the most common adrenal medulla tumor seen in adults. So in case you missed that lecture, definitely click on the links below and it'll take you back to that lecture. So what do you got to know about uh, neuroblastoma? Again, guys, this is easy, easy, easy information. You know, you want to memorize these facts and you're going to do really well on your, uh, your US board exams or your Canadian board exams. So for today, I almost dropped that marker if you noticed. <laughs> for today, the neuroblastoma, you want to again know it originates from the neural crest cells and it can travel anywhere along the sympathetic chain. So what does that mean? Of course, like the, the tumor can travel up to your uh, chest, it can travel to your bones. So patient's gonna show up with uh, you know many different uh, kinds of symptoms, maybe some bone pain, maybe some uh, trouble breathing. But the most common presentation is gonna be abdominal distension. Abdominal distension within a regular mass. So if you're doing a physical exam on this patient, you're gonna find a regular mass which can cross the midline. Important thing you want to know is when you compare it with Wilms tumor, a tumor we're going to talk about in our genetics lecture. This tumor, when you do the when you do the physical present, uh, the physical exam, it's going to be more smooth and it's going to be unilateral. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, one thing you also want to remember in pheochromocytoma, we said it's episodic high blood pressure, episodic hypertension. However, with neuroblastoma, you rarely ever going to see hypertension. Okay. A few other points on pathology, you want to memorize that you see Homer right rosette. And on labs, just like in pheochromocytoma, you're going to have all these breakdown products which show up in your urine. So two of them you definitely want to know is HVA, which stands for homovanillic acid and vanillic mendelic acid. HVA is a breakdown product of dopamine and vanillic mendelic acid is a breakdown of norepinephrine. Okay? Tumor markers. Again, guys, simple, simple stuff. Just memorize it. Bombesin is one of the tumor markers. Neurospecific enolase. It'll say neurospecific enolase positive. So memorize these two facts, okay? Another thing they can test you on, they might ask you what's the uh, oncogene that might be over, overly expressed. You want to know it's the NMIC oncogene, okay? Overexpression of the NMIC oncogene. Another association is this condition over here called Opsoclonus myoclonus syndrome. A nice hallmark, a nice way to memorize that, the, the presentation will say dancing feet, dancing eyes. So once we get to that, we'll go into, we'll elaborate on that condition as well. And of course, guys, this is a tumor, so what are you going to do? You know, with LA, you know, with most tumors, you start off with observation, you're going to consider surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, and eventually maybe stem cell transplantation. But you know what, this is extra information, not really tested on step one. Definitely keep these other factual stuff in mind, and you're definitely going to ace all the questions related to neuroblastoma. And that's it, guys. That's it. I know it was a short lecture, but important lecture because it's easy points, and I love easy points. Until next week, what are you guys going to do? You guys are going to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already definitely share the video with all your friends and make sure to come back next week on med school mondays with promo